This is Michael Bota, reading to you from Hell of a Thing, short story collection, out now, from the Sega Group. The story is called This Generation Needs a War, and it's about an average kid from down under getting into deep trouble overseas. The shipyard is the best club in Belfast. The twins pull me through the bouncer's wall of shoulders. They push me into a corner. Three bottles of vodka appear. Some guy who claims to be a friend of the twins keeps hassling me about the All Blacks. These Marys think you're the best in the fucking world with your haka, trying to intimidate us. We invented the fucking game, Matt. He tries to convince me Ulster are the best rugby side in the world. I tell him right-ho. I do my best to bury myself in the music, watching girls. I'm sleepy and grumpy from smoking speed with these guys and I want to go home. You think you can intimidate me, pal? He says out of nowhere. Try some of that haka shit now, I'll fucking drop you. The guy makes fun of Chelsea. I reach out for support. I grasp an ice bucket, hit him with it, while my crew watches me, arms folded. I kneel on the guy I've hit. I bash his skull till his hair sticks to a flap a bleeding skin hanging off his face like potato peel. The boys haul me up, push me into an elevator with a bored looking Russian princess. She fucks me in her hotel room. I roll over afterwards, sleep for a year. I wake up and gasp, stunned to find myself hundreds of meters above the ground in a sea of yellow plastic seats looking down on a chorus of booming Chelsea supporters chanting, one man went to mow, went to mow a meadow. There is a rectangle of grass in the center of my giant bowl of seats and Chelsea fans. I scan the stadium walls. The Credit Suisse signs are in German? Holy shit. I think I'm in Zurich. A whistle blows. The words Al Ferdisan materialize on the jumbotron. A wave of moaning collides with a current of cheers. Rolls of toilet paper arc through the air. A terrace seat lands on the grass. There is plasticky smoke from a fire somewhere. Bottles breaking. Another whistle. I hear English accents. Somebody shoves me in the back and I have to follow the tide out. England supporters ooze onto the clean stone paved streets. We wash over everything. I see an old man get punched from behind, his scarf torn off and taken by some little kid. The guys are running at each other doing kung fu kicks. A paramedic is flattened with a paving stone. A police horse drops steaming shit as a bunch of guys pull its bridle, ripping the rider off, punching the horse. The cops sprint to safety. We stampede after them, spilling into alleyways, restaurants, pubs, a chocolate cafe. There is a Greenpeace thrift shop and the hooligans form a queue, sending out baskets of ammunition, shoes, bottles, dinnerware. People hurl plates and mugs at the police. The porcelain explodes in white puffs on their riot shields. The police retreat. England supporters file into a McDonald's. Men in yellow scarves are running out screaming and throwing trays and milkshakes and wet floor signs. Clinging to a statue on a stone island with frightened tourists is Huria, looking minuscule under a thick woolen hat and a giant backpack, holding her mobile, stabbing it with a fingertip. Something buzzes in my pocket. It's a text from Huria. I haven't heard from you. I'm scared. Are you coming to Switz? I try to cling to the iron rails around the rubbish bin, but I'm sucked downhill and I only stop when I slam into the arms of a grinning ginger twin who tells me he's been looking for me everywhere and it's time to get back to work. This isn't a holiday, pal.